We're going to show a number of exercises this morning to enable us to get in the proper position to hit this golf ball. The first one we call the wall drill. Now he will incline from the ball and socket joints until his buttocks are against the wall. Now so many people try to turn the right hip back into that wall, it's wrong. First movement is a lateral flexion of your spine from the bottom like a pendulum, the weight on the bottom of a pendulum working that way. The second movement is an anterior rotation of the left buttocks pulling it off the wall. Your left thigh is, is doing an adduction here. The left knee is doing a flexion and the left heel is raising. That frees up the left side so it can turn. Now when you come back to the other side, you've got to move the left hip against the wall and this is turning out so it can revolve between the ball and your spine. Okay? You never try to turn the left hip. If you out do of the that, way. you negate all the power of the legs and body. Mm -hmm. Now there, there. Mm. You understand that I'm not just standing here with my hips between the heels. I'm moving now where I'm balanced on the right leg. So I have a support underneath the spine, but the spine is tilting like a swinging action of a pendulum that way. Now this left side is turning out around the right. The left hip leaves and the buttocks of left hip leaves that and it comes in causing a shortening of the, this hip joint, the knee joint, and the lifting of that left heel allows the knees to spread more. So if I tried to spin yeah. my hip out of the way, then your head moves. So and really, you I'm just moving right yeah. with the wall. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but mm. you're moving the, what we call the support. Now, your right leg is support, and your left leg is a rotator, OK? Mm. And then your left leg is support, and your right leg is a rotator, which takes the right side through. OK. Now, it, can we take it from the side, seeing this separation from the wall of this buttocks? Now, this wall, is, this thing going to sit here, go back to where it started, and this is turning around like that. So, so the you, right side works to it, yeah, as opposed to back shifting. Like right. That. And the wall, well, what a drill. Yeah. Ooh. That way. Now, see this? This heel is raising, this knee is flexing. When you do that, watch this. The femur is flexor is working right here, causing this knee to bend. The rectus femoris is working here, comes in here like that and lifts this thigh outward. The gastrox and soleus muscles down here are allowing that heel to raise. Okay? It's like a loose feeling. Yeah, huh? you have to have that detached so this thing can swing, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you go back down, now the you're setting the heel back down with the tertius and peroneus. You're left in this gastroc and soleus. You set it back down with these two muscles come in here. Now as you come back this way, this muscle is flexing, this muscle is flexing. The internal vastus is, is pulling the leg in there. Then the sartorius muscle is turning. The longest muscle comes from right here, goes down here, and connects on the other side of that joint, on the inside, like that. Those are the number of the muscles in play to, to do this exercise. Now, if we're going to swing your arms back, it's going to help, help the shoulders turn, and the left shoulder is pulling away from that spine, giving us a separation of this left arm from 6 o'clock down here. It's 12 is up there, but the left arm will go back to 11. It's 12. 11, 10, 9. So that's it. And the hands will be cocked 90 degrees. The arm is separated from the ball. 150 gives you a total of uh, 240 degrees separation of that club head from that ball. Now, when you move, you're moving laterally. You're using the femoris flexor muscle here, rectus femoris here. The sartorius coming from right here around 
to the front like that, which turns that leg, internal bass is there. The gastroc and solus lift the heel, frees this up. So you have a supporting side and a rotating side. You cannot turn the right hip past this wall, it's blocking. But you can turn the left hip away from the wall, letting the body do an anterior rotation around toward the ball. While that's happening, the femoris flexor is flexing the knee. The gastroc is raising the heel. The internal vasus is pulling this thing in here, and this sartorius muscle coming here, going right around, they're turning it out. Now that's position, your shoulders will be like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now to come out of that, the, the leg is like a extension of your spine. Now you got some support. Now you don't have support if you pull the hip back. Okay? Now sure. there, now you're gonna revolve. You can't revolve if you're attached. You have to detach the heel. Free up the knee and this hip, and this hip is coming here, which give you a, mm. a compound action, a shift of weight. Well, as if you try to get your left hip out of the way, your shoulders You cannot do it, off. your head's gonna move. You wobble, you gotta keep here and move the center of gravity Ball. out to the front. Mm -hmm. Keep your swing circle center on the center line. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, swing circle center is the base of the neck, top of the rib cage. It's called the seventh cervical. You have seven vertebrae from the skull down to here. And the operation of that action right here allows the shoulder, the hip, the knee to rotate between the spine and the ball. Okay. Now, we're going to look at it from the right side, you're looking this way so you can see the motion through the hitting area on the fore swing. We got the motion on the back swing. Now, go back to the top of the back swing. All right. Mm -hmm. now, yeah. Now, as you come down, this hip is going to return to the wall but it's moving forward, that's coming under. Now at this point, the hands will come on over. Okay? Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm. Okay. Let this it makes go. it work to the ball. Yeah. I mean, there's no way to... You're not waking away from it, you're working mm -hmm. into it. Both ways. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. That, if you'll take a swing out here now, step away from the wall and make a swing and do the full action so you can see how it's using the legs to support the, the body. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, this is an excellent exercise because if you turn your right hip, there's nothing holding you up. It's doing that. Your head will move. But if you do what I tell you to do, your head will stay here. Then you can revolve without moving. And you go this way and you can revolve. I can't use this leg and 70% loss of locomotion from a stroke I had. Okay, mm -hmm. do another swing this way. Yeah, swing toward the camera. Okay, so you can see how this, this hip is working anteriorly. This is flexing, that's flexing, and the heel is raising right there. Now he raises the arms, which, which help the shoulder blades get 20 degree more backswing. Now shift, down, out. Okay, see how the center of gravity, this is center of gravity right here. This is swing circle center. So you have to identify those two centers. Very important to the golf swing, okay? As opposed to? That, yeah, that's moving your head. You're not trying to hit it with your ear. So you really to... don't try to get your left hip out of the way, do you? Hell, if you do that, you're in a negative position. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the leg power, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Nor do you have a support for the swing. See, this side, that's the support. You've got to have a supporting side detach the other side so it can rotate. You can't rotate if that's locked to the ground, that left heel, right? Mm-hmm. So when you do it like that, that has to that heel has to raise, the knee has to flex, the hip joint. Well, that it, really winds your back and yeah. buttocks up then. 
Now, on top of that, you have some motions that I would like to describe with the stomach. You have a muscle coming from this xiphoid bone. That's the bottom of the sternum bone. It comes down here and attaches to the pubis bone right here. This muscle shortening causes the, the body to bend that way. Muscle coming from here right up to there cause you to straighten. This bends it, this straighten it. The spina erecta, you have two, the right and the left spina erecta. Now, when you want to crimp in the left side, you have to shorten the left spina erecta. Right down the spine. There. Yeah. Right now, you're, you're shortening the space between your shoulder and the ground by folding the hip joint and the left knee joint in the heel is set, separating more to give you a better balance. It's widening the separation of the knees. So when you come down here, now this muscle is shortening. And so as this one shortens, this one lengthens. Yeah, they're in pairs. Whatever one does, it does the opposite. Now you're going to take this vena erecta and push on it that way. You're going to push with this gluteus maximus and min minimus muscle here, you're going to use the sartorius muscle. The sartorius muscle comes from here, goes around there, so it can turn the left leg around with the left side. Now, if the side gets ahead of the, the thigh and hip, your shoulders will wobble plate and rock, and you don't have any control of the plane. So you're using the big muscles of the back Look here. These two is look like a fillet coming from right here. Sink them right up to there. You got it here. These are big muscles. Now, when you go back this way, this muscle shortens, and you, you, it turns outside. This pushes down and out, and out to the ball. This knee is flexed. The hip joint is flexed, and the right heel, left, left heel is raised. Now, you finish the back swing by swinging your arms after you shift it to this position. Now, I'm going to turn your shoulder blades. You just cock and get your hands back to there. Now, I'm going to... Now, that shoulder blade pulled back against the spine. Mm -hmm. This shoulder blade pulled away from the spine. And using the rumbard muscles, and in here, and in there, the elevator and the scalenius muscle to operate that. Now, you're in perfect balance on the right leg. And it's, this is like a destroying block that they use in destroying buildings. This, this function here, this pendulum action of the spine, and then the rotary action doubles up the force. It's a compound action, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, going back. To the top? Yeah. As you go back, the tricep is extended, which keeps the elbow straight. And as you come in, into the back swing, to keep from packing the humus more, and you let it swing back that way, but don't don't make the elbow kind of like that. I don't want the elbow behind, I want the hand above it, with the extension of the tricep. And I've got this separation here, it's not packed in. If you pack in here, you're swinging baseball. Not golf, okay? There, okay, and turn it. It's, you know, that's as far as I can get it right No, there. you can do that, okay? Like <laughs> that. Okay, left heel is off. Cut it off now. Okay. Excellent. Now shift. Let it go. Now, the muscles in the shoulders, called the rotocup muscles, you have the infraspinata supraspinatus teres. Now, they'll give you action like this, conical actions here in front of you. It helps elevate it. But when you elevate the, the arm, do it with the deltoid. The deltoid and the inf these rotocup muscles, understand? When you bring it down, you bring it in down with the pec like that. When you take it back like this, you're doing that with the latissimus. This muscle 
coming from here goes down to there. That's the latissimus. And you also have in the elevation some action of the trapezia. Okay? Then when you're coming back and you're turning this thing, the rumbard is right there. And that helps to get the full turn turn of the shoulders. Now this arm is not against the chest. And when you shift, go ahead. That way. That arm is back there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, when it's come through, it's that shoulder's coming through, and it's coming up here to 1 o'clock. 12 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have 150-degree rotation of the right arm up to here. The hand will be like that. The elbow will be flexed. This one will be flexed. So they can, st hold. They can stay together. If that is straight, you couldn't hold on with this hand. So it's imperative that we do a rotation around the radio on the joint, and you also are getting a slight rotation in the rotor cup, okay? Inside, deep muscles inside there, where the this humerus bone goes into the shoulder joint, like that, okay? This shoulder blade is a non-socket joint. It's very flexible. It can go this way, it can go that way, and that way. See? So it is a very flexible joint. Let's see. Take it on up. Good. Shift over and swing it. Now, see his swing circle of center is back of his center of gravity. If the swing circle center gets ahead, you can't have any power. And your, right, your wheel can't go around the axle. It'll bend the axle. So that, like the right side, it actually pulls the right shoulder yeah. into position. The right? hips, the hips right, and right thigh there. knee is pulling the shoulder. As and opposed to the shoulder. You're not it's, trying to make the shoulder pull the arm. You, you actually, it just follows them, right? Yeah. The first motion we are going to do in this exercise is a radial flexion. Now the butt of the stick will be tilted down to the ground and the head will be tilted up. This thumb will get into a right angle in relation to the wrist. Now we do a pronation. It becomes horizontal. We bring it back up to the upright position. We let it down. Now we start again. Now down and up, over, up, down, waggle, waggle. This exercises all the muscles in the forearm. Very, very excellent exercises for developing the control and strength in those muscles. Do that again. Now this is with the right hand. We're going to do a radial flexion. The heel is pushing down, this index finger is pulling up, it bends this wrist thusly. Now we do a supination. Now we do a pronation. And then we do an ulnar deviation or an ulnar flexion. It's called two ways, okay? And we come back up. And we do a pronation. Then we come back up. We do an ulnar deviation. Now we do a dorsal flexion and a palmal flexion. That's ten different motions there. Now that's uh, exercising the muscles in the forearms. I'm going to show how to exercise muscles in the rotor cup. I'd like to have you put it this way, right straight out. Then I want you to do a little circles like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is excellent exercise for the rotor cup. Now we take it to the side and we do it that way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just one hundred. Now, now, that's right. Now, reverse it. Now, do it the other way. Make it, come on around here a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. Okay. You're increasing it. Well, you can feel that. Yeah. It, it, you do that until you feel a little tired. You do it now with the radar. Do it with the radar. Do it in front of you. Okay. Now, turn to the side and do it with the right. And you do it forward, then you do it re reversed. Okay. 
those exercises are great. Now we're going to show you some other exercises. You know, you know the one with the hands. Yeah, these are fantastic. This is tremendous. It gives you flexibility and speed. Now do it the opposite way. You actually do this with your elbows. You're doing it hands and forearm and elbows right there. So you can feel the difference between just locking this and swinging the arm. You got the hands. You got all the action of the wrist done basically with the forearm muscles you see oh. okay see in, in doing that when you the infraspinatus the supraspinatus the teres muscles all in play understand and when you lift this arm here that's done with the deltoid when you pull it this way, it's done with a peg. When you go back that way, it's a lat. So, this is a peg. That's the lat. This is the deltoid, okay? So you make yourself familiar with the different muscles that you're trying to exercise. Now, do a swing, okay? You see how all of these exercises come into play to develop the proper swing. See, now don't stop. Are you that? Excellent. That's the correct position. You have your center of gravity out here and the swing circle center back of it. Go ahead and make a swing. Hold this position. Swing. That's good. Now, here's a swing circle center right there, and there's a center of gravity here. Never the like that. Not there. You're not, you're not folded here. Your back is arched in. Your back goes into an arch, so you can get this right side on. If it doesn't go into an arch, you go that way. And this, this underneath right side motion. Yeah. That hip lets motion. A, lets that shoulder come around. Yeah. It just hip. follows it, right? Yeah, do that. Don't turn your head. Mm -hmm. That way. Now, to come on now. Now, come on up. Now. Okay. okay. See, you have muscles that are in, are in play here. I'm going to show you some muscles. You have a muscle coming from this pubis bone right here. It's the bottom of the torso. It's going to come up toward the left shoulder, but stop at the eighth rib. And it's likewise on the other side, making that letter V. Then we have a muscle coming from the base of this xiphoid, coming over here to the two-part ligaments. And one coming from here to the left two-part ligament. That looks like an A, right? When you turn, you use the synergistic movements of the, this is the internal, this is the external obliques. When you turn to the left, now, when you, you make your left side turn into the ball, your chest is turning to the right, you're using one half of this and one half of this. And you're using the transverse muscle coming across here, like this. And that's in the front, muscles of the stomach. Now, when I go this way, I'm going to use these muscles, like this. And that's, those muscles are pulling. This muscle is turning. And you go through with the right side underneath the spine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see you do it. Just take your stomach and do that. That way. Now do it the other way. And you feel the muscles in play. Yeah, it's wind. Yeah. This boy, I, I love this because yeah. you let your chest just wind up right over that leg. Yeah, that's right. Now the, these m muscles are stretched. That's it rectus abdominis muscle to stretch and these are cramped or cramped shortening that keeps your head back if you let the, that go your head goes swings ahead of your body and it's got to stay there now, i think this well covers the, the actions of that 